handy dandy bag and I am going to show you today how to make a homemade bean bag. So what you need is a sock. Now if you're anything like me, I'm sure you have a sock just lying around that is missing its other sock, right? So maybe ask mom and dad if there is an extra sock just laying around. So we are going to turn our sock into a bean bag. That way we can have fun with our bean bag. All right, so you're gonna have a sock and you're gonna need some rubber bands and you're gonna need a funnel and then you're gonna need something to fill your bean bag with. Now, today I'm gonna use corn kernels because that's what I have. But if you have beans, maybe some rice, maybe some split peas, you could use any of that to fill your sock. All right, so I'm gonna take my sock, I'm gonna take my funnel, and I'm gonna put the funnel into my sock and I'm just gonna hold it there. And then we're gonna fill our sock about halfway up. Uh, I think I need a little bit more. I'm just giving it a nice shake down there. If it gets stuck, you can push it down in there. Let's see here. That looks pretty good. All right. So now, what you're going to do is you're going to take a rubber band. And you're going to wrap it around the top of your bean bag. Now, if you have trouble doing this, maybe ask an adult to help you because it is tricky. Because you want to get it nice and secure so your beans or corn or rice does not fall out. All right, I'm going to wrap it one more time. All right. Oh, the corn fell out. All right. And then you take the top of it and you can wrap it around like that. And look at that. We have a bean bag. All right. So now, since we have our bean bag made, I'm going to show you a fun movement activity that you can do with your bean bag. All right, so I found these letter cards. Now, if you don't have letter cards, you can make a set. All you need is a piece of paper or maybe an index card, and you can write letters on it. All right, so let's see here. I'm going to pick, oh, what did I pick? Ooh, look at this, the letter M. And I'm going to use my finger and trace it. Ready? We start our letters at the top. Big line down. Rip it back up to the top. Big line down. Big line up. Big line down. We just wrote a letter M. And look at that. A monkey. So let's see here. We can use our bean bag and we can move. Move starts with letter M. Move with your bean bag. All right. Now let's pick another one. Aha. Uh -huh. Look at this. Letter 
Richie! For goat! That's a farm animal. Ready? When you're up, start our letters at the top. And we're gonna do a big curve. And then a little line. Huh, let's see. What can we do with G? Oh, I know. We can gallop. Do you guys know how to gallop? What kind of gallop? Make sure you have your bean bag. All right. Let's see what's next. Oh, T for what is that? Oh, you're right, a turtle. Ready? Starter letter at the top. Big line down. A ribbit to the top. And a little line on top. All right. So, what can we do? We can toss our bean bag. Toss starts with T. Ready? One, two, three. Toss. We can toss it from hand to hand. Ready? Toss. Toss. Wow. That is fun. All right. Let's see what else we have. All right, what letter is this? I heard it, letter D. Ready, pointer up, big line down, ribbit to the top, big curve. Nice job. And D is for duck. Hmm, let's see here, what can we do? Starts with the letter D. <gasps> we can dance. Ready? Let's dance. Oh yeah, we're dancing. Woo. All right, guys. So that is all my letters for today. You guys can keep going through the alphabet A through Z, but it's about lunchtime and. I need to go have some lunch. My belly's ground again. It's always this time. But I just want to say thanks for hanging out with me. It was so much fun. I hope you get outside, make your bean bags, and get your body moving. All right, guys, until next week, I'll see you later. Bye.